What's going on? Why have we seen this major return to volatility for the stock markets? Well, first of all, Brian, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's great to be here. And, uh, you know, frankly, I, I guess I know how to pick the day to come back uh, around the world. I think you took it around the horn right now. Uh, volatility, it's not just uh, what's happening in the United States. We're seeing it overseas also and taking it starting from Asia. Uh, we're starting to see that volatility pick up. I mean, the Chinese mainland share is already in a bear market, depending on which exchange that you look at. Uh, and it's the usual suspects, right? I mean, you could say that it's the trade concerns, uh, the slowing economic growth, which you reported on starting mm -hmm. last week. Uh, but at the end of the day, also, um, it's deceleration. Uh, the economic growth over there has been pulling back. But our view is we're still constructive over the long view of, of the Asian markets, also in China, China as well. Um, the growth there is still uh, well above U.S. averages, uh, well above global averages. And even though it decelerates, it should be approaching fair value and yeah. is starting to look more attractive. The, the stock market is supposed to be some kind of a crystal ball. They call it a discounting mechanism mm -hmm. where it predicts by moving what it thinks is going to happen collectively. Is the stock market now telling us that we believe a global economic slowdown is going to happen, that maybe this is the, the sort of peak global economy? Well, I think recently uh, the consensus estimates reported out of Reuters, for instance, had pulled global growth back to 3.6 percent. And That's still you know, pretty well, good, though. It's still not bad, right? And um, if you kind of look onshore also, we believe that uh, the run rates that we've seen with U.S. GDP running at 3.5, even into 4 percent territory we've seen recently, uh, while it might not sustain at those levels, it's well above, say, the one and a half, two percent annualized rates that we've actually seen prior to most of this expansion. Uh, overseas, uh, the deceleration that we're seeing out of China, which is under the microscope, you're going at a six and a half percent target of the government, going down to say a, a low six percent type range. But, but again, you're looking again at a multiple of the U.S. and developed markets. We continue to believe going into. Uh, 2019 and the years ahead, uh, that growth will be driven by the emerging markets. China will be a factor there, and the U.S. will also hold its own. I wonder how much of this, and what do you think is the sort of the percentage of this market move that is temporary because it's reacting to the, the trade rhetoric, maybe even the news and sort of the growing tension with Saudi Arabia over Khashoggi, the shorter-term things that are out there rather than a multi-quarter or multi-year slowdown cycle. Do you believe that this volatility, because remember, companies are in the period right now where they can't buy back stock. Mm -hmm. You know, we've always had that corporate buyback sort of put under the market. We don't have that for a couple of weeks. We're sort of in that dry period, if you yeah. will. How much of this move do you think is sort of temporary or transitory? It could be that support is being removed to your point. Um, we're long-term investors uh, at Wells. Uh, we do advocate you buy looking low. through. We, we do like buying low. It's a good discipline. And um, but frankly, on these pullbacks, especially if we believe that they're transient, as many of these uh, developments we believe are, uh, they're great opportunities to put money back, into, back to work, great opportunity to rebalance those portfolios. And, and yes, uh, you, you mentioned Khashoggi. And we look at Saudi Arabia and the impact that it might be having on oil prices. I'm trying to predict oil prices like trying to predict the weather at any point in time. Uh, the reality, though, if you look at it on a broader fundamental basis, I mean, Saudi Arabia on an economic contribution is less than 1% globally.